let's look at this uh, numerical now the loss function for a decision problem is given like this so you had four decisions and three situations probably it would have been uh, better if you had uh, written it this way because this is the most common mechanism that we uh, write the loss function that is coming out for theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. So this is 30, 20, 17, 35. Then we have 20, 25, 19 and 20. 15, 10, 24, 17. So these are the losses. Loss for decision 1 if theta 1 comes up. Loss per decision 1 if theta 2 comes up. Loss per decision three, 1 if theta 3 comes up. Now, first thing is explain which strategies, if any, are dominated. So I could uh, very clearly, I have to see whether in any particular uh, column, any particular column, every value is less than or equal to other columns value now if i look at d1 versus d4 okay lesser equal lesser so obviously d4 is completely dominated d4 is dominated by d1 so i can retain only d1 now what about the others if I look at any, okay, D1 versus D2, no, here it is already uh, higher, okay, this is lesser here, in theta 1 it is lesser, whereas in theta 2 it is high, probably uh, in theta 3 it is lesser, only in theta 1 and theta 3 is giving uh, me a better result. D1 and D3, okay, in theta 1 it is fine. In theta 2 it is fine but not in theta 3. Then D2 and D3. Okay, in theta 3 D, D3 is fine. Theta 1 D, D3 is fine. Theta 2 also it is fine but definitely not in theta 3. Which means there is no other combination where one decision is dominating the other altogether. So, which means this is what I am left with. This is what is my problem. Now, this is where I am trying to see which decision is much more appropriate using the Minimax solution. Minimax is clearly telling me, first of all, find out the maximum loss in each of the cases. So, when I am adopting a D1 strategy, the maximum loss is 30. When I am adopting a D2 strategy, the maximum loss is 25. And when I am adopting a D3 strategy, the maximum loss is 24. So the minimum, minimax criteria is telling, take the minimum of these. So 24 is the minimum of this, which means my most optimal strategy that I have to take in this case is the D3, wherein at the max I am going to lose 24 bucks. This is the simple uh, way to pro progress with the Minimax solution.